All right, so what do we have are a couple of things. Here is the mold um, that we're gonna pour the bars into. We wanna set that over here. We have some tools, stirring stick, pliers, another pair of tongs, um, stuff like that. We have extra stuff here, not using currently. And we have the aluminum that will be melting. This is a previous time that I poured some aluminum ingots. These were much larger, um, too big. So we're gonna set that in there and that's gonna be able to melt. We're gonna keep our other one handy because we'll be doing that one as well. Smaller piece. Actually, we'll put that there. And then we have um, this. What this does is causes the uh, aluminum to separate from the impurities. So we'll keep that here. And some cans that we're gonna melt after this gets melted. So let's go ahead and turn on my torch. Always have a torch to light your main gas source. We'll try to do this in a couple steps here. And we'll turn on the main fuel like this. And then we'll turn on the blowtorch. Just a tad. And then we'll turn on this part. I always like to give myself a long distance because there's usually a big explosion. Just like that. So the furnace is lit. This can get turned off. What I forgot to do was put the lid on. It's not hot yet, so we should be able to do that just fine without pliers. Hopefully. There's a big flame that you can't really see. shadows those are all heat waves that's not smoke that's all the heat um, but you can't see any flame right now propane burns very I don't know what to say but you get the point anyways we're gonna let that heat up it takes about I don't know, 20 15 minutes something like that once that's heated up we'll come back all right so it is getting hot because you can tell when I scratch this bar, it leaves marks. I'm not applying hardly any pressure. It's getting to its uh, melting point. It's not quite there, obviously, but it's getting to where it's getting super hot. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do that right there. All right, we'll see you soon. Just 
smelling the salt. That's a uh, whoopsie. These tongs really hot, they barely even pushed on. The thing completely bent. Oopsie. We're gonna try more salt. We're also gonna try not to breathe that. The salts are actually popping and sputtering out out of the edge. Heat radiating on my, uh, my hand. 
entirely hot. Not hot enough to make a salad, but that's okay. Um, what we have is the bar. We want to make sure these are dry. Going to try and get this ingot out. It's a little bit hard to do with uh, one hand and filming, so forgive me there. because they are fragile. They are very brittle. Not the metal, but the, uh, the mold. You can see how it's sliding out. As it cools down, it slides out, just like that. Jeez. I'm not having good luck with these pliers. Probably not use those again. Then we have the completed bar. We'll set that right here. Move this over, get ready for the next one. Should be coming right after. And then we'll go ahead and put you back in the tripod here. Soda key. And 
side. This one next. This one I think is pretty dry. to melt. Oh crap. He's 
dumb things just don't grab anything anymore. It's pretty annoying. It has little grippy teeth, but every time I try to pick it up, it just falls over. Thank you. 